And I was watching the debate that he had with this uh, Muslim journalist, uh, Richard Dawkins, and I was watching, listening to the Muslims ask questions and, 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 and challenge uh, Richard Dawkins. And I thought the Muslims got the better of Richard Dawkins. I thought he lost the debate uh, quite easily. Uh, the Muslim journalist and the Muslim audience completely, I thought, routed uh, Richard Dawkins. And to me, he looked a bit of an ignoramus, personally. But the thing that disturbs me about Richard Dawkins is this evangelism that he he and his fellow militant atheists forever going around evangelizing with the mantra of we are the intelligent ones and we have the evidence and religion is bad, religion poisons everything and as I was listening to him I thought Richard you're just, you're just the bitter ignorant person because you're only propagating your own ignorance and your own prejudice I mean when he was talking he could barely bring himself to te to say the name of Jesus Christ that's how much prejudice he had and the arguments that he was making were tired old arguments I mean for example um, that theologians haven't got any arguments that they, they just like kind of think that they've won their arguments without having actually to give any ar argumentation and evidence. And it was pointed out by a monk in the university. I don't, I don't know if it was Oxford University where the debate was held, but the monk in the university said this university started by theologians and it started by the monks and other the theologians having to discuss different ideas. And he was saying that it was important for theologians to discuss different opinions and then Dawkins uh, w went on and said well you know if you think it's important to discuss whether uh, a piece of bread it, whether Jesus is in it or not it, you know if you think that's important you know and yeah the willing to theologians are willing to split split hers uh, theological hers for that for that kind of thing uh, vigorously if that's what kind of argumentation you mean yeah and I, and I just thought that was just such an ignorant statement to make. I mean, I mean, it was just so ignorant because it's it, just a misrepresentation of what theologians have, have been discussing and the big issues of theological discussion about can something come from nothing? Uh, what is what is the meaning of life? What what is the purpose of society? How should society conduct itself? Um, you know, big existential questions. Uh, about the meaning of life and the meaning of relationships in society, wrestling with them, and he caricatures theology as if they're not interested in uh, intellectual discussion and if they're not uh, interested in proper debate, um, and they've got nothing to contribute to these big issues, uh, you know. And I think of Torrance, um, F. Torrance, who was a theologian but mightily read in science, and um, many theologians that uh, have engaged with modern thinking and uh, uh, right across the disciplines and he's just completely caricatured them and um, I'm just staggered at his ignorance really